What is up, my fellow adventurers? Uh, this weekend we're heading out into one of my favorite places in the world, Chinaguchi Waterways Provincial Park. And we're going to work our way up to the Sturgeon River and hopefully run that down for a bit. Hoping we have good water levels for that part of the trip. Got some paint on that one. Oh my god, I'm so sick of rocks. We're doing eight days in here and really hoping the weather holds out for us so far it's looking like one bad day in the whole trip which would be amazing this trip's been on my bucket list for probably like four years i've looked at it on the map and been like how epic would it be to do that entire loop we made it down to madagamacy late afternoon yesterday and we were all super exhausted two years since i uh did a trip this long and i would walk five thousand meters i always say after five days it just becomes a whole new experience and you just start to feel like the backcountry is home so anyways let's get on the water and have some fun that's nice Lagoon was a little bit crowded. People and horse flies and deer flies, they were ridiculous. I must have killed like 30 when we were chilling there. <laughs> they were only there for like 15 minutes maybe. No one? Okay. Just a couple thoughts. I have never seen Wolf Lake so empty. This is ridiculous. It's a Saturday afternoon and we haven't seen a single person on the lake, uh, so that's that's super unusual. Usually Friday night, the place is packed. You're lucky if you even get a sight. And uh, another thought, if you're ever on the lake and you have a day to kill, definitely go hike Wolf Mountain. That's what I refer to it anyway, it's a big hill on the lake. It's got a uh, good look out in like every direction. Uh, it's a bit of a bushwhack, but uh, <laughs> I highly recommend it. I've only done it once, but uh, we spent like an hour up there just looking off the different lookouts because uh, there was a different view every way. Anyways, check her out. It's raining in spots. Hopefully not on us soon. We're not a king, and that really sucks. Oh, headwinds, you are not my friend. It's like traveling in some Swimming. <laughs> on the road again. No knives barking at some little kids. Did a bit of a push last night and made it up to Doherty just to get ahead of all the groups we were seeing uh, as we were coming up Madagamacy and that. It was worthwhile. I've never stayed on Doherty before. Can't believe there's not more sights on it. It is a, it's a big lake and it's beautiful, but uh, there's only two sites and they're like right close together. It's weird to me. But maybe there's a reason that I don't know about. Uh, plan for the day, hike the elephant, uh, which is always a nice little hike up there. Oh, look, I got three mosquitoes in my hand. <laughs> the portage was pretty buggy. So, uh, yeah, and then hopefully McConnell Bay for uh, 
nice beach site for the evening. It's going to be a pretty relaxed day, but that's because we made good time last night. First sighting of the wild elephant. It's always nice to have a point to uh, shoot for. It'd be cool to look back on Wolf Lake and that once we get up there. Starting the hike up the elephant. It's a little bit hard to find this spot. Uh, I might throw a marker on the map or something for reference for everybody if they're interested in hiking this. Because uh, it used to have a little flag on it and that's about all you could see. But uh, that's even gone now, uh, this time that we're here. Uh, a little bit nervous for Nona going up the rocks because uh, I know there's some steep sections, but uh, hopefully she'll make it up. <laughs> Holy blueberries. So many blueberries. Tasty snack while you climb. Top of the first lookout. It's getting good. Whew. Top of the elephant. God, I love it up here. So worth it. Are they good, Nona? Good blueberries? There's so many. <laughs> it's a swarm. I think we're almost through all the sketchy stuff that I was really worried about getting Nona down. So, relieved on that. Deer flies are a little bit ridiculous. Say goodbye to the elephant and so. Well, packing up on uh, the site of McConnell Bay. Getting a late start today because uh, I wasn't feeling the greatest when I woke up. But uh, we got wind that just will not screw off, but at least it's gonna push us in the right direction. So uh, we should still be able to cover a decent amount of ground today and uh, hopefully make it up to Frederick. I doubt we're making it to the Sturgeon today. If we got an early start, we might have with the wind assist, but uh, it's the way it goes sometimes. Anyways, get in the water. Of course, as soon as we get on the water, it starts raining. <laughs> it hasn't rained all morning. Two minutes on the water, and it starts raining. <laughs> oh, man. Cruel, cruel world. Hugs were bad on that one. Yeah. They were. Oh. That was a muddy re entry. Known as a swamp dog now. Completely covered in mud. And guess what? I get to have her between my legs. So I am covered in mud too. Fishing happen, no nah. Wish I had braid, but I'm an idiot, and all the fishing gear was packed last night. So I'm using this shitty mono. It's a real good time. <laughs> You're so funny. I know. I'll never forget the time my buddy JP paddled out from the island behind me there. In one day, to the takeout on Matagamacy. Pretty insane distance to cover in one day, and uh, dude, he was doing it with uh, headwinds the entire way. <laughs> Is he coming, Nona? No, no.
Come on, in the boat. It's amazing the difference when you go from the end of one lake to the next. So calm on this end, but uh, you probably hear in the background the wind. It was just pushing us down Frederick. It was not a little bit sketchy, but uh, hey, made good time. <laughs> Doing Nona, but a nice sight, Nona. And we got sweet burn, yeah, sweet burn. The wild Ryan in his natural habitat. Oh, are you gonna get a whole tree for firewood? <laughs> Nona's a beaver. Yeah, you beaver. <laughs> well, today's the day. Uh... We're getting up onto the sturgeon to run some white water, hopefully. And uh, of course, it's the uh, coldest day of the trip. <laughs> oh man, it's just cold and windy. At least yesterday we had some uh, some warmth. It was just cold. But oh well. I'm excited to see Kettle Falls again. It's a pretty spectacular spot, so uh, that'll probably make up for it. Ugh, need coffee. On the road again. I just can't wait to get on the road again. That sight last night was pretty nice. Nice wind protection. Oh, I think that's like the only sight on the lake. Pretty big lake. But it's always nice to, uh, have a lake to yourself. Head up a bushwhack. More rocks. Ryan's excited. <laughs> Look at him go. Ah, uh, cedar. You can eat that. Nona is swampy. I was like, that doesn't feel like fruit fifty. <laughs> because it wasn't. I wonder if it looks like Nona's paddling the boat. You're going to throw many bugs on your face, puppy. <laughs> it's pretty narrow. This portage is mostly just a bush pack. Gotta watch for markers pretty carefully. No one is having a good time. That's all that matters. Oh, oh Jesus Christ. Woohoo! We're out, Sona. Okay, Nona. In the boat. Bit of a mix up on the last portage to uh, get us onto the Sturgeon River. We met another group, I'm pretty sure a camp group, and they're on the one side of the river looking for the portage. And uh, so we just kind of followed their lead because it did look like there was a trail there. Then it kind of disappeared real quick. So I stopped and poked at my map, and my map said it was on the other side of the stream that we were supposed to be following. Sure enough, we went over and found the portage side. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I guess we probably helped them out a little bit too because they would have been looking for it for a while. Bit of a slog, but it's all worth it for this. Kettle Falls. I remember this portage. I went around Kettle Falls. We we're just hiking up to uh, have a better look at the falls, but man, I remember carrying a canoe down this a few years ago and it was not a good time. <laughs> just steep decline jagged loose rocks makes for an exciting carry Whew. or a painful fall
decided we're gonna portage the first one. There's just a million boulders, especially at the bottom. It's ridiculous. Um, don't hate my boats that much yet. But uh, it's, it's probably doable, but there is a hard turn and then you just washes out on boulders at the end. <laughs> Oh, it's clean. I didn't even touch a rock. Cool! That's so nice. So nice. Well, I knew she'd be a bump and grind, but I did her anyway. I don't know if that's a good line. On today's tour, we're going down a section you probably shouldn't go down. Especially alone. Can be known as first whitewater experience when she's asleep for it. Oh, we're going up to a big rapids, Nona. Big and scary. Big and scary. Does you like the white water, Nona? Is it fun? Is it fun? Hey, Poppy, we having fun? Got an early start on the river this morning. Spirits are high. Nona's excited for some, uh, some more white water experience. She won't make a river puppy out of her yet. Or a tree. Oh, some hungry beavers on the river. This is a cool part of the river. Would you jump? Looks like a nice cliff jump. All right, hold up, puppy. Get mental patient to shore. I'm here. Go. I'm not leaving you, don't you? Oh my god, I'm so sick of rocks. Water level needs to be quite a bit higher for this one again, but it's been the story of the day.
like. I'm fine. Gonna make a decision, Lola. Lost some paint on that one. Looks like a big hill on the side up here. See it? More epic cliffs. Yesterday was a bit of a push to get us off the sturgeon and it was a little bit disappointing. With low water levels, a lot of times the exciting rapids had either a rock really right in the middle of the line or it was just so shallow and rocky that it wasn't even worth running because uh, I like my boats. So there was a bunch of stuff that was runnable and a bit fun. Nona got some uh, good taste of white water and now we get to start the day with uh, five kilometers of portaging. Pretty sure this portage is going to break my record for the longest portage I've ever done. So, uh, portage montage. It's the five kilometer portage. So far, the portage isn't too bad. Watch out. <laughs> Those of you that don't like walking through spider webs, carry your paddles like a lance and slice through those stringy bastards' nests. No one is ready for 5k! The portage is very far and I do not know the way. You can have my paddle and my canoe and my axe. It applies. Oh, what feet every day? No, no. It's going this way, swamp dog. Hold up. You want it out of the boat? No. Looking at the map. Stopped here for lunch and then had a rain afternoon and now we're heading out hopefully. Deer flies are crazy. There's like three on the camera. <laughs> Castle's about to clean her first fish ever. This should be interesting. Hey. <laughs> okay. Like here? Yep. So to you like... gotta pull its fin back. Yeah, I know, but like I'm gonna go. Like yep. This. Basically. Yep. Okay, I'm gonna touch its, touch its fin, its little arm. Its once alive arm. Thanks to whoever left this stupid plastic camping oh. chair here. It makes not a bad cutting board. It's so hard to stab it. Yep, lower. You need to be right up against those fins there. Mr. Fish, I'm so sorry, ass. Ugh. Okay. Try so putting your thumb in there and then peeling it up. Just put your thumb in there, he says. Yeah, that section right there. Can you, like, hip? Thank you. Got it. <laughs> I can't believe I'm cutting open an animal. Eh, you lived a good life, free and wild. You don't know what his home life was like. Yeah, maybe he had abusive parents. 
could have just gotten out on his own. You know? <laughs> Look at what bad decisions do, boys and girls. Your gut filleted. What a beauty morning on the lake today. Hardly any wind, just so calm. Woke up to uh, fog rolling off the lake. We're gonna do a push today, try and get uh, all the way down to uh, Madagamasi again, back on the lake where we started from. And then we're hoping to kind of dip over to Donald, but uh, I don't know if that'll happen. It's quite a few portages to try and pick away in one day. Probably gonna be a bit of a slog. <sighs> Longest tree. And I've seen these lakes before, but uh, I always like passing across Evelyn. That's a beautiful lake. Anyways, let's get to her. <sighs> Longest tree. I want to be ahead of you on the hill. No offense. Down. <laughs> and we're going. It's bushy. <laughs> and another tree. And yeah. I have to sit down to get over this tree. There's water and another tree. There were way too many logs down on that one. Yeah. Oh. dog print and then we also got a big moose track another moose track i'm pretty sure that's a cat print dog ones have longer toes with like sharp points whereas the cat prints have like little beans on to evelyn now to navigate our way through this almost there Oh, it's so tiring falling through really bad. What's out there? <laughs> <laughs> so mean. No. Mommy's mean, Nona. She didn't throw anything. Yeah. Thank you. Oh. And back into the beaver pile. Look at it, she's building something. She keeps bringing them all in here. It is the last profession of the day. It just is. Pumped up. No, it doesn't seem to like the bug spray we got for her. Okay. Oh, it's okay. It's helping you though. It's okay. Girl. Poor Poppy. What's she doing to you, Nona? No. Saving your life from the bugs. So. We made it down to Madagamasee late afternoon yesterday and we were all super exhausted. So uh, we decided to change our game plan and uh, not do the loop through Donald family decision. And we decided to just uh, cut out a day early since we're already on Madagamasee. Still had eight days of basically beautiful weather. We only had like an hour of rain and it's just been an excellent trip. Now get out there for some adventures of your own. They're waiting for you. Oh, my foot. Oh, my 
Oh, we stopped at Tim Hortons on the way up and uh, I got a couple bag of belts. And then I proceeded to leave one of them in the truck accidentally. So I'm a little bit worried to open the truck up and uh, find out if it smells like rotten meat. Ugh. Thanks whoever did this. Appreciate it. And now the moment of truth. Doesn't sink. Surprising. I did leave it on the seat though. Luckily it didn't uh, stain or anything. Sweet. Great trip. <laughs>